Hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to name binary acids. Binary, by definition, is something that's composed of two parts. So a binary acid is an acid that's composed of two parts, and those two parts are H and another element. And I have a couple examples right here of binary acids, HCl, H2S, H3P. You can see in each of these, they have an H and one other element, but you can have multiple H's. The rules for naming binary acids, it's, it's right here in blue. So you just write the word hydro and then write the root of the element, ic, at the end of it, and an acid. So let's go do these three examples of turning the formula into the names. First, we look at HCl. We recognize immediately this is a binary acid because it's made up of H and another element. So then we just follow this rule. It's going to be hydro. And then you name the the root of the element so Cl is chloride so I'm making it just chloric acid so HCl is hydrochloric acid next example H2S and then we recognize this, this is going to be binary because it's made of H and then another element S so it'll be hydro and then the root for S is sulfur so sulfuric acid hydrosulfuric acid H2S H3P it's going to be hydro and then P is phosphorus, so we drop the S, we write, write the root, so phosphoric, whoops, that's sp poor spelling, phosphoric acid, so H3P, hydrophosphoric acid. First two examples, we went from the formula to the name. The last two examples, we're going to do the opposite. We have the name right here, we're going to go back into the formula. So reading this first name, hydrobromic acid. So when you read this, you, you see it's hydroic acid because it has this setup. We know this is going to be a binary acid. So we know it's going to be H, and then the other element is brom, brom, bromic, which is uh, going to be bromine. So H and then Br. And then we're going to write the charge as H is because it's in the first column. It's going to be a positive one charge. And then Br because it's in, the, in this column right here. It's a, it's halogen. It's going to be negative one charge. And then we check if the charges cancel out. Plus one, negative one do cancel out. So then it's just HBr. And then the last example, hydrosalinic acid. Uh, again, we receive hydroic acid. So we know it's going to be binary. So we know there's going to be H. And then selenic selenic is going to be selenium. And then we write the charge. Hydrogen is going to be positive one charge. And let's check what charge selenium is. It's in the same column as oxygen so we know selenium is going to be a negative two charge and we check we see that the charges don't cancel out so then we can crisscross giving us H2S and the reason why we do this is because we want the compound to be overall overall to be neutral and then that's it it really just comes down to following recognizing what's a binary acid and then following this rule that's this hydro blank ic acid Hopefully this video helped and clarify some of your questions and if it did, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel because I'll be posting tons of videos that's going to help you do well in this class and conquer chemistry. And then if you like my teaching style and you're interested in individual tutoring, check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. Alright, keep practicing and I'll see you next time.